Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is my September favorites. Can we just talk about like how September like flew by so fast? Like where did the time even go? How is it already October? I'm just in shock how fast September went because I've been in college for a month and a half already and it feels like I've been here for like two days. But anyways, let's get right into this. So I have a few skincare and then I have pretty much all makeup. It's kind of like a little mixture. So first I'm going to start off with my skincare and then move along to makeup. So first up, these are the Bior Charcoal Pore Strips. These babies are so good. You can find these at any local drugstore like Walmart, Target, Candy Drugs, Walgreens, CVS, anything. And I believe they're maybe like $8 and you get six nose strips and these work so well. Like I was kind of hesitant to buy these in the beginning. Since they're black and it's charcoal, you can actually see like your pores on the strip once you rip that sucker off. These are just so good. I've been using these like crazy ever since I got to Buffalo because my skin is like going ham. I have no idea what is wrong. Next up I have two face washes. Both of them are exfoliators. <laughs> um, I've been trying out different face products just because of my skin and how disgusting it is lately. Um, this is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Face Wash. Um, you can use this every day, but it's kind of like hit or miss when I use this just because I feel like if you use this every day, I feel like it's going to strip your skin down. I just feel like it will dry my skin out too if I use it every day. So I mainly use this at night, right before I go to bed. And usually I try to use it like every other day, just so my skin kind of has like a break from exfoliators. It smells like, um, like fresh fruit in a way. It's definitely not too harsh on the skin. It is more of like tiny, 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 tiny like grains. And it just feels really nice once you work it into your skin. And I don't see any alcohol on like the first um two rows two or three unless they put it in like some different language that i don't understand yet this is the dr brandt microdermabrasion exfoliator yes yeah, skin exfoliant this is like the little baby size just because i wanted to try this out but girl i know this is expensive this is like 80 dollars i think for like the big full size one but this is so good I usually try to use this maybe like once a week. This is definitely worth every penny, I believe. This is just such a great exfoliator, especially if your skin is a little more on the sensitive side. This is a little more gentle than this sucker, but these are both fabulous exfoliators that I've noticed. So let's move on to makeup. First is the primer. I have one primer that literally blew me away ever since I bought it. I've used it every single time I've done my makeup. It just is bomb. It's so good. And it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This is such a good primer for not only just like oily skin, but it's I feel like this can suit every skin type. Just because it's more of like a lotion consistency, but it does like fill in those pores a little bit. Um, it's not necessarily like a mattifying primer, but I see that my skin doesn't get as oily when I use this. So it must be like really filling in those pores or something. It's like magic in a little bottle. But as you can see, it's like a lotion. It literally feels like a lotion. Next up, I have three foundations for you guys. One is also the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Girl. This is such a good foundation. You guys have probably seen this foundation like all over the internet. If you haven't, where have you been? This foundation controls my oils so well. It's insane. And it's so lightweight. Like so lightweight that like it literally feels like lotion on your skin. Just like the primer. <laughs> it feels like a primer. You can make this medium coverage if you want. Just medium coverage. Or you can build this up and it becomes a beautiful full coverage finish. So that's pretty much why I love it. Because some days I can do more of like a natural look. Or then some days when I'm like going out maybe I can do a full ass beat face with this foundation. So yeah. Fenty Beauty, you're killing it girl. 
Next is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I know this is like expensive, I know. It's very lightweight. It's so full coverage with just like a tiny amount. And honestly, their color selection is prime. Like this color right here, this is the shade BR50 Cool Honey. This matches my skin tone literally perfectly. Like I don't have to mix anything with it. I can literally just wear it by itself and it will match. My this does last forever. Girl, you could wear this for 24 hours, I believe. You definitely could. But I'm pretty sure alcohol is like one of the top three or like top five ingredients in this so I don't like to use this every day just because of that factor but girl it's a good foundation next up is a little more affordable foundation this is the covergirl at last stay fabulous foundation I've had this for a while like a while and I just started using it again and I realized how much I literally miss this like, this is such a good foundation. This is the shade 845. This is more of, like, my pale skin one. This is, like, gorgeous on the skin. It honestly kind of reminds me of the Owl Hours in a way. It's like they're both similar. They're both lightweight. They're both very full coverage if you want them to be. You can definitely do more of a, like, light medium with this if you don't apply a lot. But your girl loves full coverage. And it lasts forever. And this is such a good steal. I think this is maybe, like... Eight to ten dollars. It's a good price. This is the Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder. This is so good. I'm so late on this bandwagon, but it used to have like a little top that like closed it. I cut that off, girl. I can't deal with that. I just freaking pour it in the cap and let's go. Can't waste my time. But this is such like a finely milled powder. Honestly, I think I like this better than the Laura Mercier, which that says a lot. Because this is lighter on the face and it does have a little more coverage to it. It makes my under eyes like look so smooth when I use this. And it does not give flashback. I have tried that. Oh my god, powder everywhere. Uh, but I have tested that and it does not give flashback. So... This is my new favorite setting powder. Next up is a blush. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. Girl. This is such a good blush. I forgot I ordered this when I did. And I was like, ah, new blush. Cool. But it's such a, like, baby pink nude. It's such the perfect color. It's so smooth to the touch. You can just see how pretty that is. And girl, that is pigmented literally so pigmented and it's so pretty on your face I'm actually wearing it today so you can make it look a little more natural if you want or you can build it up and make it look like a really 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 pretty just like baby pink so yeah I have been loving this and I believe this is probably like three to four dollars and it's a hundred percent worth it hundred percent worth it Next up is what I've been using for my brows lately. I used to be on the Anastasia Dip Brow bandwagon, but I left that train and went to the NYX Tame and Frame Bow Bow Brow Pomade. This I feel like is a little less harsh on my brows. My brows used to be a lot more like darker and you couldn't really see like my little hairs. But with this one, you can definitely customize it a little more. It's not as harsh. It's more light. I feel like it matches my hair color a lot better. As you can see, like, it totally matches way better. And you can kind of customize this. You can have really, really, really bold brows with this. Or you can make them look really natural and just light and lightly fill them in. So that's what I love about this a lot more. The Anastasia, I feel like I can't, like, lighten them. I definitely like this a lot more. As you can see, I've literally... It's almost gone. That's depressing. Next, these are my new obsession. Like, I love highlighters. You guys should know this by now. Like, highlighters, I think, are my favorite thing. And these are the Ofra highlighters. This shade is Rodea Drive. This is Blissful. I love these both. They are beaming. How did I not know about these before? Because I am a girl that loves a beaming highlight. I don't have it on today, but... I do in the past, I think like two or three videos because I've been obsessed ever since I've gotten them. They're so creamy. Like you don't even, I don't, I don't even need to touch it. So this one is Rodeo Drive and then this one is Blissful. So you can see the difference, but girl, they are so beaming. 
they're so pretty on the skin too. They don't really emphasize texture too much, which is what I love about them. This is the Tardis lip paint, and I think this is like the quick dry one. Maybe I'm lying, I'm not sure. But this is the shade Low Key. This is the perfect nude for me. It's so pretty. I honestly love their formula. And I also love their Dofa applicator. It has kind of like a curve in it. So when you're applying it, it fits perfectly on your lips. So I definitely like their applicator a lot more than just like the regular one. I think this is like the perfect nude shade for me. I think I finally found it. But you can see it's right there. This is so stunning. And I love how fast it dries down. And it stays a pretty good amount of time. I do have to retouch when I eat stuff. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Cowboy. I was wearing this in my tutorial with the green eyeshadow. Um, I will link it right on the top right here. But this is definitely more of like a orange tone to it as you can see right there it's so gorgeous it does dry down to a matte even though it looks really shiny right now but it's just so pretty especially with like the right orange maybe transition or like a just a nude eye it would look perfect okay i have three things left sorry if this video is forever long please forgive me but this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. You guys have seen this in so many videos now. But I just cannot stop talking about it. She killed this eyeshadow palette. These blend so easily. So easily. The shimmers are gorgeous. They are just, they're perfect. I think the formula she really, really, really took her time to, to perfect. And you can definitely tell. Like, she really took her time on this palette. And that's why I love it so much. Just because it's so good for the price, especially. So, yeah. Um, this might be in the giveaway. It might not. But... I guess you guys won't find out until 2,000 subscribers. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I just tried this out because I could not get my hands on it for the longest time. But I really like this. This is definitely a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The only thing that I don't like about this is the freaking sprayer. Milani, please invest some more money in getting a new sprayer because this just like comes out in a circle. So it's like you literally have to go in a circle to hit like all points of your face, which I kind of hate that about it, but it's such a good product that I can't be mad about it. I forgot what it smells like. Yeah, it has like a perfumey smell, but it's not like too strong where it stays on your face. It definitely goes away once you apply it to your face but it's kind of like refreshing and then the last item is a mini solid brush cleaner from the brand sephora i was using the beauty blender solid but then i was like really what is it like 16 20 dollars for that i would go through that so fast so then i wanted to try this one out this one is a little more cheaper and this works so good like you can just see it comes with a little like scrubber in it which i do use and I've used almost all of it, and this is like my third one. It's so good, and honestly, I really like the smell of it. It's kind of like coconut in a way, but it's like a really refreshing coconut. And it cleans the brushes really good. There's nothing I can really complain about it. It doesn't leave them feeling weird once they dry, and it works really good for the price, so I'm definitely going to continue to use this. Alright guys, so that is my September favorites. I'm sorry I didn't do like hits and misses. I didn't really have a lot of misses this month. Honestly, pretty much everything I bought I really liked. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do this every month. It might not include this many products every month because your girl is on a budget. She's in college. She can't be spending thousands, but I definitely will try to do this every month at the end. Maybe next time I will try to incorporate like new brushes I tried and maybe like a little bit of fashion. So yeah, just let me know down below what you guys um, want in these videos and I will definitely do them every month. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to this giveaway. I know I keep saying it, but it's like the numbers just keep like jumping and jumping and jumping. And I'm just being patient. I'm hoping new people find me. So so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!